Welcome on another backpacking and fishing trip with my backpacking backcountry dog, Gracie. We are in the White Mountains and we're at the Canyon Trail for Fish Creek at about 84, 8,500 feet above sea level. Back in 2011, there was a forest fire through here and they have not cleared the trail since then. So this is going to prove to be quite adventuresome. But we're gonna hike down, get a nice campsite and then do some fishing and hopefully have a catch and cook fish dinner. So glad to have you along. Well, we've come not but 300 yards. And here's a great campsite, but it's too close to the road. We're looking for seclusion, so we're going to keep on going on. This is an awesome fishing pole. I only saw two little tiny fish in here. Just strange. That's looking up where Corduroy Creek comes down. This here is Corduroy Creek and it confluences with Fish Creek right here. This big pile of rocks here, I'm going to say, came down on a flash flood through this canyon down to here. Something got eaten. That's the upper jaw right there. The small front bite. There's a flock of its fur. There's its rib cage. In my mind, this is a baby bighorn sheep. Nobody's been down here in a long, long time. This is cool. I bet to stand here when that fire was going would have just been intense. That's where we've come from. That is Hagen Draw. And that's where we're headed. This is what's left of a fish dam. And right down here, and then I went back up this way. Some kind of bird met its demise right there. And it's a uh, tailbone. I think we're coming down to where we're gonna be camping, right down in that area. This here is Fish Creek, and the one coming in from the right is Double Canaga Creek. And then that is where Double Canaga Creek comes out of. And we're going to camp right at the mouth of that. Oh, Gracie, this looks like a great place. You can got a place to sit right there and put our tent right there. This looks like a great place for camp. Okay, we're going to do it. I'm going to guess that this fire pit has not been used this year. That grass growing there. There's the camp dog. She's got her ears pricked. There's activity in this area. She hears a ton of it. It's a whole patch of ferns. All the intricacies of fern. We start our backpacking and fishing hike right here at the Forest Road 24 and Fish Creek. And we hiked down here past the Corduroy Creek confluence on down here. This is where that big rock slide was that just deposited right there. Then we continued our backpacking hike down past Hagen Draw and then down to Double Tenego Creek. And we are camped right there. It was 2.6 miles. 70 feet of elevation gain, and we are at 8,140 feet above sea level. Well, the end of the day is approaching, and this is a great campsite. Love it, it's right here at the confluence. No trees to worry about falling down on us. 
This was a great backpacking hike on the way down. Nobody's been to this point this year. Even though we had to go through deadfall and stuff, no big deal. Lots of animal life in the area. Haven't seen any, but there's evidence. As far as fishing, I didn't do any fishing today, but right down here at the confluence with Fish Creek, I saw six trout. Oh, about seven to eight inches long. Make for a nice trout dinner tomorrow. That's it. Good night. Good morning. We are in bear territory, so we have to take the proper precautions. It's a great night in the tent. It was, I think the coldest got was 45 degrees. It was perfect sleeping weather. I have a scaredy dog. Gracie is scared to come out of the tent. There was an elk up on the mountainside and it started to talk to us. And I think that scared her. Go get it. One thing that usually can get her going in the morning is that ball. Today's agenda is to catch fish and eat them. Remember I said there was six trout down in that hole? This is one of them. A little Apache. Nice little fish on a night crawler. Another little Apache. Three of them down in there, but I think this is the only one I'm gonna get. To me, it doesn't look like an Apache, but it might be, it might be a Gila. We're back from successful trout fishing. Now we're gonna cook some fish. I am going to third these. To cook the fish, we have the jet boil, olive oil, clarified butter, salt and pepper, and panko breadcrumbs with a little bit of Zataran's blackened seasoning in it. Half of the fish in the breadcrumbs. The other half are just gonna be cooked in olive oil and clarified butter and share them with Gracie. In with olive oil. In with the clarified butter. This should be finished. Doesn't that look delicious? Debone them. This is very difficult. Just get the spine there and gently pull. All deboned. This one here is going to Gracie. This one is me. I'll do a little salt. And I am gonna put a little salt on Gracie's. Try this fish. Very good. Just fried in the olive oil and butter. Delicious. Now let's see how Gracie likes it. short order of that. Time to fry up these trout that have been sitting in the panko breadcrumbs. The reason I'm cooking the fish in the oil rather than in a campfire because in the Apache National Forest right at this moment you can't have a campfire. In the state of Arizona there's 192 forest fires going on right now. This is proof there's more than one way to cook a fish in the wilderness. I cooked these a little longer. The ones before I didn't, they weren't quite finished enough for me. That looked tasty. The ultimate test. Delicious. I like the breading a little bit better than just the plain. I'm gonna quickly review one of my gear items. It's this here. It's my Bass Pro Shop fillet knife. What I like about it is that it folds out, it's compact, it's very lightweight, pretty decent length of a blade, has some flex to it which is what you need when you fillet. I sharpen this every time before I go out and this is a great knife. Really like it. This place is absolutely tranquil. Didn't hear or see anybody all day long. We're absolutely secluded here. It's like I've got my national forest all to myself. <laughs> the fishing, fishing's really good. You have to work for them but I'm willing to do that. Had a very nice trout dinner. Well, that's it. 
Good night. Good morning. We're continuing our backpacking and fishing adventure by packing up and getting on the canyon trail this morning. We had an awesome campsite. The only reason we're leaving that is because we need to explore. We want to see if the fish get any bigger as you go downstream. That looks like canine to me. Maybe a day old. It's pretty soft. It's got the hair in it. It's a sweet fishing hole. Probably about a nine incher in there. I don't know if you can see it swimming around. There, moved up a little bit to the left. And then there's one still sitting in the sweet spot for feeding. And now it just moved over to the left. Campfire ring, but nobody's been using that for quite some time. Very nice trail marker there. Something very big slept right there. And then something smaller slept right next to it. Right there. And then it looks like something very big slept right there. Trees. We're gonna see what this canyon looks like with trees. Might be a cat. Looking up Slaughter Draw from Fish Creek. In the forest. <laughs> snake right there. Just a water snake. Pretty fresh kill. And the other, its back leg. There's three of its legs. There's its fourth. Its backbone, part of the rib cage, and its head. Turkeys. Another one of these massive rock slides down a canyon. This canyon here has no name. There's a spring up there and then there's a thing called fish tank. I would say there's 50 fish in this hole. Look at them all. Beautiful. Look at the size of this old tree. Holy mackerel. It's massive. All it is. Like dwarfs everything here. Tent will go right there, right under these two monarchs. I moved our camp. Originally, we we're going to put it right there next to the two monarchs. But it was a little too close to the trail, so I moved it up into here into the trees 
and we're a little bit more secluded away from the trail and have a little better shade. Hi Gracie, what do you think of our campsite? Big antler from an elk. First definitive bear scats of the trip, a hundred yards down from our second camp. Looks like he's just been eating grass. I don't see any fur in there at all. Probably within the week. Pretty good sized animal though. We started here at Double Tenego Creek, our camp, and hiked down here. And right in this area is where the fish start getting a little bigger. And at the Slaughter Draw confluence with Fish Creek, this is where the forest starts. We came down here and I think probably right in this area here is where we saw that animal. Uh, all the four legs. I believe it was a bighorn sheep. And then we came down this way hiking. Came down to this confluence here. And this is where that rock slide was. And up here you can see there's a spring and then there's that fish tank and that all drains down into the fish creek here. And we just made our way down into probably about right here and that's where we're camping. It was 4.3 miles, 130 feet of elevation gain and we are camping at 7,900 feet above sea level. I am so glad we came downstream. I did think about staying at that camp up there, but I would have been sorely disappointed because this place has become so cool. As a matter of fact, it feels sacred. Good night. It's the break of day. I'm going fishing. And we're gonna be fishing right here. You can't see the water, because if I show you the water, the fish will be scared. It's so shallow that the fish can see you just like that. I'm just gonna be fishing blind, basically. Gonna be using a mealworm, small little hook. Just put it through it twice, like so. And a little tiny weight, and then a strike indicator which causes it to float so I don't get snagged up in the bottom. The moment they see you, you're done. I want to get them out of the water as quick as I can so I don't disturb them. About nine and a half inch rainbow. Skinny. That's because there's a ton of them in there. They're competing for food. It's a nine inch rainbow Apache hybrid. They're not on to me yet. Ooh, nice one. Chunkier than the rest of them. Very nice. Nine and a half inch brown. I think I spoiled the hole. Little seven and a half incher. It's like an Apache, but it's got some rainbow coloring in it. Definitely an Apache, but it does have a little bit of rainbow coloring. Nine and a half inches, nice fish out of here. Now that I've caught them, I'm gonna cook them. I'm gonna cut these in half. Again, panko breadcrumbs, can't go wrong. It's got a little Zataran black and seasoning in it, but hardly any. Yeah, it's good on those. In with olive oil. Got ghee. In with the fish. That is a nice mess of deep fried fish. Nice piece of fish. Mmm, good too. Got some fish for you, right here. The fishing dog deserves fish because she stays with me the whole time, watches my six. Good? Good. This was a good day. Fishing was good. I caught a nice variety of fish. Rainbow, Apache, and brown. They all tasted really good too. That's it for today. Good night.
Good morning. This was a great campsite, but it's time to head back to the trailhead after I finish smelling stuff. Maybe eating a little grass. Shall we go, Grace? Come on, let's go. This kind of gives you an idea how big this creek gets at times. That is a bank. You see a bank over there? That one is actually where the creek is. It fills this whole area up. Wow. It's starting to warm up, so I'm going to use my handkerchief to try to stay a little cooler. Oh yeah, that feels nice. A turkey has been harvested, and we are about 50 yards from our first camp. This has occurred within the last two days. Well, Gracie and I are very close to finishing this five-day backpacking and fishing adventure. There are some things about this excursion that are worthy of remark. The hike out today was 5.25 miles with an elevation gain of about 600 feet. Backpacking through this canyon, you backpack through beautiful forest and then you open up into this uniquely burned forest. It has a certain kind of beauty to it. And then once you're in it for a while, you really appreciate it when you go back in the forest. Next was hiking on the canyon trail. In some parts, very difficult because of the deadfall. In the other parts, it was just wide open. Never difficult really finding your way in a canyon because there's not really that many options. As far as camping sites go, they were both very good in their own right. One was in a very open area and then the other one was right in the forest. Both of them were close to the creek and both of them had relatively good shade. As far as animals, the only animal I saw was a turkey, but I saw evidence of elk, deer, black bear, coyote, Mexican wolf, and bighorn sheep. I love being in the wilderness with those animals because it makes you feel like you're in the wild. Then there's the flora. My goodness, I saw flowers here that I'd never seen before. That was really cool. Now the fishing. Fishing was awesome. You do have to be very stealth in your approach, and if you are, you will catch fish. They won't be big, but you will catch lots of them. I think the biggest one I caught was about 10 and a half inches. It was a beautiful rainbow. I did not get that on film, unfortunately. Some of the fish I did keep, they were the Apache, the Brown, and the Rainbow Trout, and I did cook them up, and they were all delicious. Then, there's my backcountry backpacking dog, Gracie. She's got my back. I love it when she's in camp with me and when I'm on the camera because she's always watching and listening. In general, this place is very serene and very peaceful. The first camp, I felt very isolated. The second camp felt very spiritual. This is the end of our backpacking and fishing adventure. I want to thank you for coming along with us. So, until next time.